students welcome back to the digital electronic class so we are conducting the series of digital electronic class and in that today in today's class we are going to talk about some problem based upon mean term and max term so let us consider some examples for mean term first so they give one question so what is the question here they give your boolean function f is equals to sigma m of 0 comma 3 comma 7 they asked to implement by taking the literals so this is what actually this is the function they gave it so they said to convert that function into your binary literals so in order to do those things what we'll do we know the summation summation means addition of all the numbers so what is the first number do we have it's 0 so we can write it as m0 plus next digit is m3 next digit is m7 clear so next thing is that we need to take three values for it a b c Because a three input, how we are saying it's three input based on this literals. So what is the literals values given? Zero to seven. Seven indicates total combination of two power three. That is eight. That indicates it's a input n of three bits. So in that, if I want to write mean term zero, m zero, what is m zero value? You can write zero zero zero. Likewise, if I want to write m three, so m three I can write it as zero one one. So one plus two will make it as three. Similarly, if you want to write m seven, that means all needs to be one. So this is your mean term. So we we do have mean term value. We need to convert that mean term into our functions. So how do we mention m zero? So m zero I can write as the solution of it. I can write a bar, b bar, and c bar because all are zeros. Zero 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 means it's a complement, b complement, and c complement. Similarly, next string. M3. So what is M3 value? We do have a complement B C because zero indicates in mean term complement and that one indicates the specific value. Similarly, next one we do do have M7. So M7 I can write it as A B and C. So we have this two. I'll try to take common. Anything is common. Yeah, here do we have a complement common? In this two, anything is common? Yes. Here if I can take two numbers, two literals, I can take here. So what I'll do it. Instead of taking these two common, I'll take this one. So I can write this as a complement, b complement, c complement. In this, I can take b c common. So what is left out over here? If I take b c common, I'll get a complement plus a. What is a plus a complement? Is nothing but one. So a complement, b complement, and c complement plus b c of one. So we got the answer for it. So a complement, b complement plus B C, so that is your. Now here they did not give this direct function. They gave that in terms of digits. So this zero three seven. That digits we convert into a specific value of it. So that one we converted. So let us consider the student one more problem. This is a second problem of Boolean function. So in that they gave you function f is equals to sigma m of your one five seven eight eleven twelve. This is they gave you. They asked to convert that Boolean function into the literals, or they said you to convert and find out the number of mean terms, and they need to reduce the mean terms. So in order to do these things, what is the first thing? What is the first step we need to take? We need to multiply m with all. Then it's summation. Summation means we need to take the sum addition of all the number of bits. So what we are doing? We are taking what is the first bit? M1 plus next bit M5 plus M7, M8, M11. N M two L. So we got all the bits. So next thing we need to write that respective bit into in number of literals. That is the bits. How many number of bits it consists of? So as you can see here is two L. Two L means if you had the two bits, what is the two bit range? It's starting from zero and one. If you do have eight bits, so what is the eight bit range? It's from zero to seven. Next, if you do have sixteen bits, that Indicates what zero to fifteen. So zero to fifteen means it's how many bits? Sixteen combination of bit. That is, it's three bit. This is four bit. So how do how we are mentioning this is four bit or not? Because the range for that would be from zero to fifteen. That means whatever digits if I want to take that if you do have A B C D, I'll get the digit M one. How do I get your suppose mean term M? So what is M one value? I can write zero zero. Zero one because two power one two power zero is one. This is four. This is four. This is your eight. One two four eight. 
this is your first mean term m1 so that mean term box for your reference you need to write it down in exam no need of drawing this thing it just directly you can do the problem likewise m5 what is m5 we can write 0 1 0 1 that is your m5 now m7 m7 how do we mention 0 1 1 1 that is your m7 likewise m8 how do we mention m8 so m8 is what 8 we want so 8 would be 1 remaining all will be 0 next m11 11 means 8 plus 2 plus 1 so 8 plus 2 plus 1 we don't want 4 similarly you can write m12 what is m12 we can write so m12 will be so 8 plus 4 is 12 remaining will be 0 so that values we wrote it next thing we need to write that in terms of a and b a b c d all the numbers so what is m1 i can write a complement b complement c complement with d likewise m5 how do i mention m5 a complement b c complement d a complement b c complement d because zero indicates complement similarly after writing m5 next m7 what is m7 i can write a complement b c d so a complement b c d plus after m7 next is m8 m8 is what see over there m8 what is that a b complement c complement and d complement we wrote it next m11 what is m11 we do have a b complement c d plus m12 m12 is a b c complement and d complement by taking these all we mention it next thing is that try to take repeated terms or repeated bits which is common so in this what is common here we do have a complement c complement and d so i can take a complement c complement d common in both so a complement c complement d is taken outside what is left out over here b complement plus b that is the first bit first two comparison of the bits similarly in this what is common a complement is a b here b complement c c complement that means nothing is common so we we can't take anything common in this so try to see this too here a is there yeah a is do we have b complement is there yes b you do have but c and d we cannot do any other formula for it what we'll do instead of that we'll try to compare this with this now see a complement we don't have b complement no c d c d is coming that means in this also not possible because we have to get similar bit so that we can make some formula from it so that that too we don't get anything try to compare this to a b complement a is there b complement no c no d that means there is no common in this two but here i can take common because we are getting there is no comparison from these bits to remaining bits so what i can write for this i can write what else, what is the value here a complement no here there is no possibility so this term will not write this as it is a complement b c d plus in this i can take a here is a here is also b complement here is also b complement so a b complement as it is a left out is c c bar d bar plus c d plus this as it is a b c bar and d bar so in this two thing in this and this we can have b so i can take b common for this two so what is the value left out over here a bar c bar d this is nothing but one plus here is a bar b c d plus here a b complement this is what type of special gate we had what is that special gate we, we can write for this i can write c x nor with d so what is that formula c d plus c bar d bar this is your exclusive nor so we know the exclusive or also if you had a exclusive or with b so what i can write for this a b bar plus a a bar b so this two we know the special functions so we are getting this in terms of that one what i can write for this c c exclusive nor with d so that num function i have mentioned here similarly this a b c bar and d bar so what is the last answer for it so i can write a complement c complement d plus this is a complement b c d plus this one a b complement c x nor with d plus this one a b c complement and d complements that's how this is your function
So students, so we got this thing a bar c bar that's into d. This is one we don't write. Here is what a complement b c d plus this is as it is that function we wrote it this one. Again in these two terms I can write common because I do have b is common in this two. I can take it but I'll not write any kind of Boolean law or I'll not get De Morgan's law. So directly we'll write it the same function. So a so a complement c complement d plus this I'm writing so a b complement bracket c x nor with d plus your b is common in both so b outside so i can write here a complement c d plus so a c bar and d bar so that's how your complete function we obtain by applying the boolean function so that boolean function we applied so we need to write in that form so see one more problem based on this So students, see one more problem, third problem. So they give the Boolean function f is equals to pi of 0, 3, 5, 7. So this is a function they gave you. So what is this pi indicate? Pi indicate it's what? Product of sum. So we know this is nothing but the product of sum that we can conclude by looking into this pi. So likewise, what I can write for this first thing, I need to write in product terms. What is a product term indicates? It's nothing but like, it's a max term. So we do have to consider max term. So now, what is the first term? M0 into capital M it is. M3 into M5 into M7. So in product of sum, what I can write? I'll indicate if you do have 0, that means that bit A. It's a reverse. If you do have 1, that means it's a complement of it. That is nothing but A bar. So we do have 0 and 1. That too we are writing like, like this. So I'll make first root table for it. So I'll write. So what is the bits I do have? Since it is still 7, so I can write 3 bits only because 0 to 7 come under the same. So I do have first bit as M0, M1, M3, then I do have M1 we don't have, M3 and next we had M5 and M7. So we had all these bits. So we wrote it this thing. Next thing is that we need to mention. So what is the combination of 0 I can add? All zeros. So it is a product term. How do we mention product term? So how do we write this thing? A plus B plus C. So 0 means that number we will write. Similarly M3. What is M3? 0, 1, 1. So 0 means A. 1 means reverse complement so that is nothing but B complement plus 1 means C complement. So that's how the second product term is written. Similarly M5, what is M5 we can write? 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is 1, 2 and 4. So 4 plus 1 is 5. So write in that product term. So 1 means A complement, 0 means B, 1 means C complement. So A complement plus B plus C. 7. What is M7 I can write? All 1's. Means A complement plus B complement plus C complement. Because 1 indicates it's a complement. So we found as per truth table this is a product term. So that same product term we'll mention here in terms of multiplication because there is no common in this. So there is no common term we can write. That as it is we'll mention. So how do you mention this M0? What is M0 value we do have? First A plus B plus C into next into next into next like this what is m3 m3 is a plus b complement plus c c complement that we are writing this one like this next m5 what is m5 a complement plus what is there m5 b plus c complement next m7 what is m7 a complement plus B complement plus C complement. This is the given Boolean function into product term because there is no common term possible to write. That's what we are mentioning the same in terms of literals. So we cannot uh, minimize the number of literals here because it's a product term. There is no common in product. So we cannot multiply like A into A square like this. That is not possible. So directly we'll write the function in terms of this product term. 
So take some problem students for your practice. I'll give some questions. Try those questions at your home so that you can get the uh, complete idea of it. How to solve the sum of mean term, product of sum. Both the things I'll show you. So they gave the Boolean function. Consider this is your function one. F is equals to sigma of 0, 5, 6, 7. Try to minimize the literals also. So minimize the number of literals or bits. So bits are one more name for that is literals. Similarly, take the second one. F is equals to summation of M, 0, 5, 0, 5, 11 and your 15. Suppose this is your function. Same, minimize the number of literals. So since M also they can mention, directly they can mention sigma. Both the meaning is same. Take the third function. F is equals to pi of 1, 3, 5, 7. Or you can consider this as 1, 2, 5, 7 because just now I have shown you. So here we cannot minimize. So only you need to write in product of sum with bits. Likewise, I do have function f of a comma b comma c comma d is equals to product of 1, 5, 9, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So these questions, try it. So these two are in product of sum. That is nothing but max terms. These two are in min terms. Try to solve the solution, try to find the solution for it. And if you are not getting, you can mail me your problems. I can rectify and can get the solution of it. Thank you. Have a good day.